Gold Coast is playing host to the 2018 Commonwealth Games, but while the actual event is still six years away, the benefits are already being felt. There is a tremendous body of knowledge that you just don't use once. It's something that you continue on you know, from games to games. And in an Australian context, we've had this tremendous ability with the Sydney Olympic Games knowledge to take that through to Rugby World Cup, the Commonwealth Games in Melbourne, but also to people who are confirmed hosts like in Russia, like in Brazil uh, and like in uh, South Korea for the future. The Commonwealth Games will no doubt be very beneficial for the Gold Coast and will bring new vitality to the area. But there is still a lot of work to be done before the Games in 2018. We're looking upon this as 11 days of sport and a decade of opportunity. And that decade of opportunity will come you know, starting before the Games. And what we're looking at uh, is across the board. We can see benefits for trade and investment. We can see benefits for tourism. We can see benefits for the education community in terms of know-how. But also, too, we can see benefits when it comes to sport. One of the challenges faced by Commonwealth Games organisers is how to use and integrate new technology, particularly when forecasting for an event. One of the things that we're going to be doing here on the Gold Coast in the next few years is doing a massive amount of thinking about how the media will broadcast the 2018 Commonwealth Games and how people, for the want of a better phrase, consume those games. I mean, do they do it in the grandstand? Do they do it in live sites? Do they do it you know, on their you know, handheld or tablet uh, devices? So we're going to be doing a lot of thinking about how these major events are actually you know, p people participate in them and actually people consume them and that's knowledge that you know, we'll be able to share with you know, future event organisers you know, right around the world.